Hello guys, we are going to do a really quick tutorial to make sure you understand the anecdotal records. So what you're going to need is this form, which is the anecdotal records form you can find under the folder week 2 under course content. So what you're going to want to do is go to the lab and print only this page a whole bunch of times. Okay, You're going to have these in each section of your notebook. Okay, And when I say section, I mean domain. If you go to your resource notebook page in your assignment packet, it's on page 5. You're going to go down, and you're going to see all your sections right here. So you're going to have five anecdotal record forms for physical, for cognitive, social, and so forth. Okay? So let's go back to the anecdotal record, and I'm going to show you what that is. Basically, it's just writing down what you see. Now, at this point, you should have already read the book and looked at my notes on the PowerPoint. So all you're going to do is scribble on here. Okay, You're going to write the center name, the child's name, the time, the location. So you're going to just simply write what you see. Okay, You do not have to type these out. You can type them out and highlight them, but I'm going to leave that up to you. So when I'm sitting in the classroom, let's say it's center time. So I'm going to write exactly what I see. During free choice center time, um, let's say our child's name is Susie, um, chose the art center to play in. She asked one of her friends want to play in art with me. She sat down and Pulled out the box of markers and a blank piece of pink paper. She said to her friend, I'm going to draw a cat. She proceeds to draw a large oval and add triangles to it. Now keep in mind this is not going to work with all children right here what I'm writing. It might just be scribbles. So if the child is just making scribbles you're going to write she's just making scribbles because that's okay. Okay so I'm going to stop here. You would keep going for a little bit. Um, so we're, I'm going to show you how to code. So you're going to write notes for, I mean this probably took about two minutes of what she watched. So you're going to write a few minutes of notes. Then you're going to go down and you're going to code, meaning that you're going to pull out each part of the sentence and what developmental domain it represents. Now this is going to require that you know about each domain. That's why I said that you need to have taken those classes before, you know, your um, music, art, and movement, your math, science, and social studies, because you need to be familiar. So I don't need to look at milestones, but you might need to look at milestones to know what these are. So she cho chose the art center to play. Okay. Um, moving down, she asked one of her friends, want to play with me? What domain would that be? That would be your social. So maybe I've decided my social domain is going to be a purple code each time. So each different domain is going to have the same color through all your notes. Okay, so she pulled out a box of markers and a blank piece of pen. She said to her friend, I'm going to draw a cat. So that could go in your art. So maybe that's going to be, um, let's see what color I want that to be. That can be um, green. So she plans an art activity. That's part of the art. And then we have, she proceeds to draw a long oval. If you, you've taken math, science, and social studies, you know that is cognitive, shapes, math. Okay, so now this is coded. So when you go back and you're trying to file these under each domain, each section, you know which color to look for to put in there. All right, so that is how to do an anecdotal record. Okay, of course, if you have any questions, you're going to ask those on the discussion boards, and I will answer them. Okay.